This guide tells you what to do when Windows Vista hasn't updated for a while or it's running really, really slow. Um, doesn't always work, this it should be noted, but um, it's a good place to start. And a good place to look is um, if we look in the task manager. So if I just right click on the um, little bar at the bottom of the screen here and then left click task manager. Um, you'll notice here the CPU usage is 100%, so it's quite, it's very high. Um, if I click on, left click on show processes from all users, then I click on continue. Okay, now you'll notice here SVC host is consuming most of the CPU usage. Now you might find on your system this might be sorted in alphabetical order. So look for one of the instances of SVC host. Like in, in my case, you'll probably see there's a few instances, but you may well see that one of them is uh, running at 99%. The other thing you'll notice is, is when you're doing a Windows update or clicking, uh, when, when you're checking the Windows updates, it might say checking for updates and it will stay like that for several hours or several days even. Now, somebody's developed a great little website which uh, tells you how to uh, fix this problem. It seems to be that most of the time it's the Windows updates that are causing the problems. It's just, it's checking for updates and taking up most of the processing power. And when that happens, it can stop other tasks from running in the background, such as uh, like an automated backup, like Carbonite, for instance. Um, it, it can also make the computer run very, very slow. Um, like I say, this won't fix all problems. You know, a computer running slow could be uh, many, many things, but if you've not noticed any updates come through in a while, or since the last batch of updates that have come through, the computer's now running very, very slow. And when you go into the task manager, you notice that one of the SVC host uh, processes is taking up most of the processing power, like this one. I'd say this one's taking sort of ninety-eight percent. On some machines, I've noticed it taking, um, you know, fifty percent, um, which is, is is sometimes normal. Now, um, if you open up Internet Explorer and uh, you go to there's there's a page that we need to go to. Uh, now, basically, this page just tells us. Um, what uh, patches we need to manually install on our computer to hopefully get it back up and, and, and running as normal again. Now this, this seems to happen every month. Now, a lot of people are saying this seems to have happened every month, virtually every month since Windows 10 become available. Microsoft could be. Um, dismissing their old systems and trying their best to get people to go over to their, their latest system. Not implying anything, but it, a lot of people are saying, you know, that this seems to have come about since Microsoft have released Windows 10, um, which, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I can't say anything, really. But uh, anyway, so this website, it's um, http uh, colon forward slash forward slash wu full stop k for kilo r for romeo E for Echo, L for Lima, A for Alpha, Y for Yankee, full stop, D for Delta, E for Echo, forward slash, E for Echo, N for November, forward slash, just as it's shown here. Okay, so we go to this, this website and it tells us here, there you go, the following changes to the previous month due to patch day, uh, July patch day, KB3168965 replaces KB3161664. So what they're saying is last month, this patch KB3161664 fixed the problem. Now this month, it seems to be KB3168965 uh, fixes the problem. And, and, and also, KB3087039 can be replaced by KB3164033. So again, uh, you know, there's there's two updates we, we could install on here, but I'm gonna show you how to install all of these updates um, on here, because there's a couple of things you need to do. We need to first of all stop 
uh, Windows updates from updating before we can actually install these updates. But first of all, what I would recommend is I would recommend um, downloading each of these updates. Now, if you're running um, Windows Vista, the chances are you're probably running the 32-bit uh, version of Windows Vista. That was the most common version. So you want to be downloading the Vista X86 patches, all these here. If you know you're running a 64-bit version of Vista, then you'll download these patches in this column here. So let's just go to the first patch here, 31090994. Okay, so I click on that and uh, it takes us to uh, the, the page at Microsoft to, 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 to download it. So at the moment, we're just going to download these patches. We're not going to install them yet. So right here, let's click on download here. So it's left click download. Okay, and at the bottom of the screen it says, do you want to open or save Windows 6 301? Okay, so we click on, we can either click on save, which should save it to our downloads folder, or you can click save as and choose where you want to save it to. I'd recommend just clicking save, so just left click save. Okay, so it says running security scan. This might take a little bit of time you know, while it's uh, while it's uh, running the security scan on here, but that's fine. And there we go, download is completed. So, okay, we're just gonna close this tab at the top here. So just gonna cl click on the cross just there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the next one. So click on download on the next one, which again is gonna open up another window from Microsoft and let's scroll down and we click the download button just there and in a second the bottom of the screen here there you go do you want to open or save this file so I'm going to save it and again running security scan this might take a little while And that's it, that's done. So I'm just going to click on the cross just there next to download security update. And we're going to click on the next one here. And I'm going to click download here. And there you go, click save down there. And then once it says download is completed, click on the cross up there and we go to the next one there. So left click download there. Opens up another Microsoft window and we click download here. Okay, and then we click save down the bottom here, running security scan. Okay, that's done, so we click on the cross here, and finally click on this one here. Now, when you go to this, this web page, um, there may be more patches here, there may, no, there may be less depending on um, what the previous month's um, updates have, uh, have, have ruined as such. So I just click save here, running security scan. Apologies for this taking some time, but uh, that's just just seems to be the way it is. Okay, so we can close we can close this window down now. So I'm going to close all tabs. So I clicked on the cross in the top right hand corner. Click left click close all tabs, and the next thing we need to do is we need to go to control panel. So I click the start button here. Click control panel. 
and we need to go to Windows Updates now and this is very important because we need to turn off Windows Updates. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to click on Classic View here, um, left click Classic View, okay and then I'm going to click, I'm going to move down and click, double click Windows Update. Okay, so I'm going to click here, change settings. Okay, so left click change settings up here. Okay, and this drop down here where it says install updates automatically recommended. I'm going to click on that, that drop down and I'm going to go to and left click never check for updates not recommended. This is fine for the moment. This is only whilst we're installing these updates manually. We're going to turn it back on when we've finished. So left click never check for updates not recommended. Then we click OK. That's left click OK down the bottom here. And then if it says Windows needs your permission to continue to click continue. It. it might say that there's multiple security problems with your computer, that's fine. Okay, we're going to click on the, the cross in the top right hand corner here now to, uh, to close this box. Okay, and then we're going to restart the computer. So click on the start button, click on the little arrow here, and then click restart. This might take a few minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video because obviously you don't want to sit around waiting for my computer to restart, and we'll be back once it's restarted. Okay, so the computer's restarted, and uh, what you might notice is if we go into Task Manager, so we, can, we don't have to do this, but uh, just right click on the bar at the bottom of the screen and then left click Task Manager. You probably will notice your CPU usage is, uh, is a lot less. And if we click on Show More Processes or Show Processes from All Users and click Continue, you'll probably find that SVC host is taking up very, very, a very small amount of, of processing power, if anything at all, as you can see here. Um, I think there's one of the processes that occasionally takes up 2% of the CPU usage. Um, but that, that sort of proves that, yeah, it's the Windows Update system that's, uh, that's causing the computer um, uh, problems. So, right, so we need to get on now with uh, installing those, uh, those updates. So if, uh, if you save them in the default location that Internet Explorer provides for you if you click on the start button and then click on your name just up here just on the top right hand side or the username of whoever you're logged in as click on that and then we double click downloads from here now in here you might see other things that you've downloaded uh, but amongst those things you're going to see um, uh, the, these these Windows 6.0 KB and if we want to double check that, uh, that these are the right files. We've got there the date modified, the date and time that they were modified, and there were the date and the time that they were, were downloaded to the computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to install these now. So to do that, I'm, I'm just gonna, first of all, I'm gonna start off with this one here because it's the, 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 the it looks like it's the oldest update um, it was the first one I downloaded at 10.55. Um, I worked my way up that list when downloading, so I'm going to double click on this one here. And it might ask you that Windows needs your permission, so we click left click continue. Okay, it says searching for updates now. Now, if you hadn't have stopped the Windows updates, this bit would have taken forever. So uh, I'm just going to click OK on here to start installing. So left click OK and the installation starts. It might take a little while. OK, so eventually it says um, installation complete and we left click restart. Now, the computer will restart. Um, like I say, I'm gonna pause this video while that's, that's restarting um, and we'll come back to the video once it's restarted. 
Um, or you might see on the screen that it says configuring updates, but that's absolutely fine um, while it's while it's doing this. So oh, actually, it's shutting down quite quickly, really now. So uh, let's uh, just uh, just see if it boots up quickly. Uh, no, nope, looks like it's going to take a while to, uh, to 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 boot up. But uh, like I say, you'll probably see configuring updates when it's restarting. So we'll we'll pop back to this in a second. I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so the computer's restarted. So we click on the start button, click on our name just up here on the top right hand corner of the start menu, double click downloads, and we double click on the next download, which is KB3164033. So double click that, click continue if this comes up, it says searching for updates. Then we click left click OK on here. Wait for it to install. It's now installing. And then it asks us to restart, so we left click restart. Again, the computer's going to restart. So I'm just going to pause this video whilst the computer restarts. Again, it might say configuring updates, that's no problem. Okay, so the computer's restarted, so we left click on the start menu, left click our name up here on the top right hand corner of the start menu, double left click downloads, and we now install the third update, which is this one just up here, I believe, KB3078601. So double click that, double left click, click continue if this comes up searching for updates and then in a sec it will uh, hopefully go to install oh there you go this one says this up the update does not apply to your system well it might do yours if it does just follow the instructions and reboot but if you do get this come up just click on ok and uh, we'll go to the next update and the next update is kb3145739 so let's double left click on that and left click continue if this comes up, searching for updates, there you go, click OK to install the following updates, so click OK, that's a left click OK, it's now installing, incidentally the previous update that said it didn't apply to my system, if it applies to yours, install it, and if it tells you like it does here to restart now, then restart the computer. So yeah, this one's turned us to restart, so let's left click restart now. And again, I'm gonna pause the video whilst uh, the computer's restarting, because obviously you don't need to watch it restarting. Okay, so once again, the computer's restarted, so let's left click on the start menu, left click on our name up the top right hand corner of the start menu, and then double left click the downloads folder, and the final update that we want to install is KB3168965, so double left click that. Okay, click continue if this comes up, that's a left click. It says searching for updates. And then when it says click OK to install the following update, left click OK. It's now installing, or initialising, should I say, the installation. It'll be installing in a couple of seconds, hopefully. And there we go, it's now installing. So uh, we'll get to the end here. Yep, and it's asking us to restart now. So left click restart now. Again, I'm going to pause the video whilst it's restarting. Again, it will probably say configuring updates, but that's no problem. Okay, so the computer's restarted again. So now we want to delete those downloads. So let's left click on the start menu just once and left click on our name or our username up here. Double left click downloads and all these downloads which are dated with today's date and we, we can basically right click on each of them and then left click delete. It will say, are you sure you want to move the file to the recycle bin? Left click, yes. We'll do the same thing for the next one. Right click and then left click delete and then left click yes. Right click again and then left click delete and then left click yes again. 
and so on. So let's just keep doing those. So like I say, these are only the files that we've downloaded um, today that we need to delete from here. If there's any others in here while you're in here and you, you know you don't need them anymore, then you can delete those too. Okay, so I'm gonna left click on the cross in the top right hand corner. Now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our updates back on. So again, left click on the start button, left click control panel, scroll down and find Windows Update, double left click Windows Update, left click once on change settings, and left click once on this drop down where it says never check for updates not recommended and left click once on install updates automatically recommended then click OK. If this comes up Windows needs your permission click left click continue and there we go. We should now see it saying checking for updates and hopefully it should find some updates within um, a literally a few minutes rather than a few hours or a few days like I say this may or may not solve your problem um, like I say there could be many many reasons but as of uh, 2016 uh, this seems to be quite a common cause for uh, Windows updates uh, not working properly thanks for watching